Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marinal Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 26, verses 14 to 25. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into a city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him and one another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we read another account of Judas' betrayal of Jesus, this time from St. Matthew. And unlike St. John's account where Satan was blamed for Judas' treachery, St. Matthew paints Judas in a very unfavorable light, even nullifying his very existence. It is true that Judas' action was despicable, but he wasn't the only one that betrayed Jesus. We know later that St. Peter denies Christ multiple times, shortly after vehemently proclaiming that he would rather die than cowardly try to save his own skin. So just opposing the actions of these two traitors, the critical difference lies on how they dealt with their mistakes. Peter, regretting what he had done, asked for forgiveness, while Judas, on the other hand, did not and chose to commit suicide. And the latter is what is unredeemable because God's mercy cannot work if one is unwilling to receive it. God will never force us to do anything, and the only unforgivable sin of all is the misbelief that one's sin is greater than God's love and mercy. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and joyous day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.